Let's review strategies for mitigating 3D printer emissions related to operation. When operating a 3D printer, always follow manufacturer instructions. Only use materials specified by the manufacturer. Both filaments and the glue or tape required on the base plate to hold printed objects in place. Avoid low-cost, non-verified alternatives, which may produce higher or unknown emissions. Apply glue or tape to the base plate according to the manufacturer's instructions. Set nozzle and base plate temperatures at the lowest recommended settings that produce the print quality you need. Operating at a higher temperature can increase emissions. People, especially children, enjoy watching 3D printers in operation, but being close to an operating printer significantly increases exposure to emissions. So, it's best to keep observers away from 3D printers. If you're operating the printer and need to check it periodically, always wear protective safety glasses and minimize the amount of time you are near the printer. Cameras can be a tool for observation. Some 3D printers have built-in cameras that allow observation from remote locations, or consider mounting a camera near the printer or locating the printer in an enclosed room with an observation window. Also, standard protective masks are not effective at preventing inhalation of the VOCs and ultrafine particles emitted by 3D printers. Some commercial respirators approved by NIOSH provide adequate protection, but they can be cumbersome and expensive. This advice applies to fused filament fabrication, or FFF, printers, the most common type of consumer-level 3D printers. If using other 3D printing methods, such as powder bed fusion, additional personal protective equipment may be necessary. 3D printers may take several hours to build an object. Consider operating the printer at night or on weekends, when fewer people are present. Only operate printers during those times if the building's HVAC system is running. Many buildings automatically shut down HVAC systems on nights and weekends. Because of fire risk, do not run 3D printers unattended. When cleaning the printer, follow manufacturer instructions for cleaning the printer. Filament residue is often left on the nozzle after printing, so it's a good practice to clean the nozzle before each use to minimize emissions when the filament is reheated. Glue, tape, or filament residue can accumulate on the base plate with each print. If they are present, Clean the build plate after each use. When cleaning the surrounding environment, dust all surfaces around the machine, such as the counter or floor, frequently with a disposable wet cloth. Vacuum floors, surfaces, and furniture frequently with a HEPA vacuum. Wash your hands and children's hands to avoid hand-to-mouth transfer of chemicals and particles, especially before eating. Here's a summary of strategies for safely operating 3D printers. To learn more, visit chemicalinsights.org.